What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and today we're starting up a new series. So welcome to episode one of Call of Duty Ghosts Map Overview. In this series, we're gonna go through all the different maps in Call of Duty Ghosts on a broad scale. I'm gonna give you guys some information about things like spawns and power positions and objectives and things like that that can help you play better on these maps. Throughout the year, we will get into more detailed stuff like uh, lines of sight and nade spots and things like that. But I wanted to do this series first, just kind of give you guys some general knowledge and tips and tactics to do well on the maps in Call of Duty Ghosts. So without further ado, let's start off here. The first map we're taking a look at is Prison Break. So uh, this map can be divided up into five main sections. The first one is construction, and this is a relatively small part of the map, but it is pretty highly popular. There's a lot of different pieces of cover and forklifts and trucks and things that you can hide behind and it's oftentimes close to medium range engagement so I look to always be kind of running into enemies in here now the second part of this map is logging and this thing pretty much covers the entire north side of the map this one doesn't quite have as much going on it's got a lot of long lines of sight a little bit of cover but a lot of long lines of sight and it's not usually quite as populated next up we've got the hill it's smack dab in the middle of the map and this thing is always 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 active this is where we're gonna find the most engagements with the enemy in fact most of the game is spent fighting over control of this hill because it's an elevated position and allows you to shoot down on both logging and construction so if you and your team hold this you've got a huge advantage over the enemies but it's easy for them to come up and try to take it back from you and then finally the last two parts of this map are the river and the road and these things you don't really run into too many enemies on them but they do kind of link the map together and allow you to flank around behind the enemies and yeah you just you have to watch out for that if you're the one controlling the hill and if you don't control the hill make sure you use them to your advantage to uh, to start controlling it now uh, in terms of spawns on this map the spawns are very 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 simple so the primary spawns that you'll usually spawn at are either in construction or over on the other side of the map in logging now if you can't spawn in one of these two areas you know maybe an enemy's looking at it or maybe there's enemies there you know whatever it may be there are two other kind of like alternate or secondary spawns that the game will often spawn you in so one is over on the side of the road and then two is exactly on the other side of the map kind of towards the top part of construction or a little bit higher up back where the river mouth is right where the river comes into the map so uh, those are the four main spots that you'll spawn in this game typically if you spawn in one place you're almost guaranteed the enemy is spawning in the spawn exactly across the map from you you guys go straight at each other and guess where you meet in the middle on the hill which is again why it's so populated and literally 90 percent of the games on this map will be spent fighting over control of that hill. Now in terms of objective locations for domination, the ADOM flag is in construction, the BDOM flag is on the stone path of the road, and the CDOM flag is over in logging. For A and B, the flags are wide open, there's not really a lot of cover or capture spots or anything you can use. For C, there is a very good capture spot, you just want to use this log as cover, you can place it between yourself and your enemies, and there's no way they're going to take you out. You're almost guaranteed that flag cap, so make sure you use that. For search and destroy and search and rescue, the bomb sites are actually very cool. So one is in the construction kind of like a uh, control building this little kind of building right here and then the other is in the pipe right next to the river so I mean these things aren't the typical bomb sites that you normally see you know the big square rectangular boxes these things are actually like uh, real world things that you would want to destroy so I thought that was pretty cool I think these are the only ones that I've seen in the game that are like this but but yeah you want to destroy those things for search and destroy and search and rescue and then finally for blitz as you guys would guess the two capture spots are in the two main spawns one's in construction and and ones in logging. So again, you know, all of the objectives here make sense, you know, whether you're playing TDM or, you know, an objective game mode, you know, whatever it is, if you're playing a team game mode, you're going to spawn on each side of the hill and the goal is going to be to control the middle so you can control all of the objectives and, you know, get the kills and things like that. Now, uh, moving on to power positions on this map, where do you want to place yourself? Well, first and foremost, you want to be in the top middle hill. You want to have control of that thing because, again, you can look down at both sides of the map, shoot down at people, take advantage of, you know, the objectives and if you hold this middle part of the map, it means you have map control and you're going to be able to take advantage of the enemy. Now, uh, this middle part of the map is also a hazardous zone. You also kind of don't want to be here. So it's, you know, it's kind of opposite of itself because it's really easy for enemies to come up and kill you. There's really not a lot of cover on this middle part of the map. I mean, you have some tree stumps, you have this little kind of metal machinery type thing right here, but but really, I mean, if enough enemies are coming your way, they're gonna be able to shoot you off the hill. So this thing, it's very hard to control unless the enemies just suck. So just be careful, 
Try to use as much cover as you can and don't be afraid to back down a little bit because if you have a lot of people running at you, then you're definitely going to lose those gunfights. Now, uh, another power position in this map is the two-story building in construction. There's only two ways up into this building. One is the main staircase and two is the ladder on the back side. So obviously, it's very easy for people to be able to hold those down and, and kind of camp out in this construction building. I don't necessarily advise it, but I'm just saying if you want to hold down a domination flag or protect uh, you know, any type of objective or anything like that then it's not a bad spot to be and and then finally the last kind of power position that you have on this map is, is the little mini cliff over on the side that overlooks construction and a little bit of the road and kind of moves in towards the middle of the map you know th this is just a, it's a really really good spot because you can control that entire side of the map from an elevated position now uh, in terms of other hazard zones besides being on top of the hill the other one spot you definitely don't want to be on this map is in kind of like the roundabout of the river up right here I mean this thing is just there there's so many different ways for enemies to be looking in at you from here. They can be looking down at you from the top of the hill, from over by the top part of construction, from logging, and there's just there's so many spawns around this little area that oftentimes I'll find myself in a definite death trap whenever I'm in this area. So I typically like to try to stay away from the roundabout area and the river. But anyway, yeah, there you guys have it. That is is the quick map overview for Prison Break on Call of Duty Ghosts. Let me know what you guys think about this series. If you want me to continue it, please leave support likes comments that kind of thing is greatly appreciated if you guys want me to add things in or take things out feel free to leave feedback and i will definitely definitely listen to you guys thank you guys so much hope you guys enjoyed check out these other two videos if you haven't seen them yet and i'll catch you guys later peace out